yeah, here I am again. Yesterday made exactly 24 weeks of semen retention, which I'm very extremely proud of and grateful of. I hope God is proud of me because each day I am trying to be my best self. Each day I am trying to be the best person that I could actually be. And once I know once I stay on this path, everybody else around me will try to be their best self. And everybody else that I meet in the future will try i'll have an impact on them that they will eventually try to be their best selves as well and that's how life is that's how it should be focus only on you focus only on your development because once you focus on your development and your growth everybody else will do the same and that's how we get to help each other better that's how we get to progress better that's how we get to be more of a benefit more of a, a positive that's how we get to live with a better positive impact on the person's lives around us and that's how it is that's how life is so the journey is it hard is it difficult heck yeah it's hard heck yeah it's difficult the first two weeks was always difficult first three weeks was always difficult first couple of days was always difficult even though it's difficult but it's it's a case where the difficulty gets harder it, get, it does get harder but the, the thing that makes it a slight bit easier because you get stronger as each day go by Yes, a challenge may appear and a challenge appears that like, damn, I could relapse, damn, I could come fall short this way, I could do it that way, but it's a case where it's hard, it's difficult, but you do get stronger. So once you get stronger, you're more equipped now to handle to handle the temptations and the, and the challenges and everything else that I chose in front of you at that time. It's, it's, I'm not going to lie to you, this is most definitely the hardest thing I've ever done. And it gets, it's really the most hardest thing I've ever done because the daily urges is crazy. The daily urges are uncomparable and it's unimaginable. You just have to experience it. And once you experience it, then you're like, and do I really want to do this? Or should I just relapse? Should I fall short here and then start over? No. What I've realized is that when you're going through the struggle and when you're going through the pain, it always feels like you can't take that step but if you block out the pain itself because you are pain and you are suffering you are going through a struggle because it's very hard it's a hardship it's adversity but if you block out the, the pain itself and you take a step if you take that step to progress take that step to to overcome temptation and overcome the battle here and to keep going then again then it comes easier like even me i've me myself that work out every single day I feel so drained, I feel tired, it's, it's, it's really difficult and it's hard, but what I'm telling myself and what I'm, what I'm, what I'm doing is, a, is a, what I'm doing is that even though I may have these feelings of I'm too tired, oh, I can't do it, I'm fatigued, my muscles are hurting me, I'm sore, I still take a step, I still do something, that's what matters. If you do something, if you take a step each day for 365 days, then you'll be 365 days ahead of where you were a year ago. And that's how it is. And we're so lucky that in this year, we have 366 days. And I, as we will, will we take that extra day as an advantage? Will we take the extra 24 hours as an advantage? Will we take those extra minutes as an advantage and use it to the best of our abilities and use it to the best so that we can do? It all depends on you. And with me now, there's no other option i give given myself no other option it's either become the best person that I can be or I die there's no other option we keep on giving ourselves option we keep on put saying that oh we're going to do this and we're going to challenge ourselves and then next thing you know we fall and we take a step back and we say no I can't do it maybe I should start next month maybe I should start here no if I'm not living towards my full potential if I'm not trying every day I feel like I've wasted 24 hours I feel like I, my existence is meaningless. I must try, regardless if I'm sore, regardless if I'm tired, regardless if I do maybe need rest. I do not rest and I progress. It's not just about semen retention, no. It's about your discipline over your mind and controlling your body. True based on you controlling your mind. And once you control your mind, you control your body. Yes, at the end, your body might want this and the urges will come. But are you going to walk towards it? Or are you going to take a step back and, and redirect yourself into the part that you know you're supposed to be in the part that you're supposed to take? <sighs> Life is hard and it's challenging. 
and here I am with you with a stomach ache I've had for, for, for three, four days straight. And I'm here standing in front of you telling you that you can do it and telling you that this is possible and telling you that life is hard, but keep going and to aim to be the best person that you can be because there's no other option. There's simply no other option, no other choice, but you must do your best and you must be your best. So keep going, keep progressing. Yes, you may not have everything that you want, no, and it might be hard, no, but surely no. The no, this is how it is, no, but note, later will be greater and later will be way more beneficial along you keep going along you stay on the path stay on the righteous path and trust god keep going keep believing in yourself because you can't do it there's nothing that you can't do there's nothing that you can't overcome because the challenges will come but whether you want to overcome it or not whether you want to progress or not it's up to you you decide you hold you hold your faith in your hand you hold your destiny and this is your journey to take don't run from it do what's needed, do what you know you should keep going.